Cybernetics Tradition Have you ever heard about cybernetics? Don't worry, because in this video, we, the second group of theory of communication, are going to deliver a topic about cybernetics tradition. We consist of four amazing people who are going to elaborate each sub topics that we have about this tradition, starting from Mr. Heriano, me, Anissa, Maria, and Tia. Alright, in this short video, we are going to elaborate and deliver some subtopics starting from the meaning of cybernetics tradition, the concept of cybernetics tradition, and then the kinds of cybernetics tradition, and then the analysis of the short movie or film called The Kurang Dua Ons. Cybernetics was popularized by MIT scientist Norbert Wiener in the 1950s. It emphasizes the communication is not linear, but rather it is a cyclic process with feedback loops. This branch shows us how parts of the system or communication process are independent and how the feedback loops maintain balance and create change. Theories in cybernetics tradition explain how physical, biological, social, and behavioral processes work. There are five variants of the cybernetic tradition. The first is basic system theory. This approach describes system as actual structure that can be analyzed and observed from outside where we can see part of system and how they interact. The second is cybernetics by MIT scientist Norbert Weiner in 1950s. It applies to the general tradition and the variation. It emphasizes how cybernetics is about a process with feedback loops which can create change. The third is information theory. This study looks primarily at the transmission of the signal from one part of system to other through networks. The fourth is general system theory, developed by biologist Ludwig von Bertalanffy and highlights the commonalities within systems. It seeks to show us that different fields can be linked if they share the same system principles. It deals with the commonalities among systems as seemingly diversities as economic growth, biological development, and social movement. The fifth is second order cybernetics, developed by theorists who determined that it was not possible to objectively observe a system. In this variation, the person observing the system is always cybernetically engaged with the system they are observing and then both affect each other during the process. A system in cybernetics tradition takes in input from environment, process them, and creates outputs that are put back into environment. Okay, next, a uh, continuous flow of communication. Cybernetics is about having a goal and taking action to achieve that goal. Knowing whether you have reached your goal, the request or feedback. A concept that was made rigorous by cybernetics. In systems, there are client servers, channels, interfaces, operators. Information carrier include people, information, conversation, media, and press. The network the world through new reports, videos, entertainment, and any from any form of communication. In cybernetic traditions, there is a system of concept of input, output, and feedback path that flows continuously. Feedback is the most crucial aspect of cybernetics. It is the key concept that makes effective communication possible within a system. It undergoes the context process that measures its effect on the system than addressing the issues as a whole one way or another. In cybernetics, there is something called the feedback loop. Media is one of the primarily variables that receive and disseminate the information available around us. 
It is to inform, expose, and enlighten the press through, point, through print or digital media. Kurang Dua Ons is a short video about a six-year-old kid named Dimas who always help his father selling vegetables on the local market. When Dimas was told to watch that stall by his father, he did what his father usually does and wrongly wait and vegetable and fridge when somebody is buying. One time, a lady comes to buy vegetable and fridge and she found out about this wrong method that Dimas finally learned that it was not right. First of all, let's analyze the video. During the first minute of the video, we can convey that Dimas is an innocent boy who always follows his father's, father's orders. Therefore, he also helped his father sell vegetable and fruits on the local market. But there's something wrong with his father's behavior that Dimas noticed and since every day without knowing that is a wrong action. Dimas started to do the same thing by decreasing buyer wage by two ounces. In Dimas' point of view, his father's behavior is completely okay and should be the way. Dimas didn't know that it's a form of corruption because he grew up thinking it's a formal thing. Around 7 minutes till the end, Dimas was asked to watch the stand until a lady came to buy some things, so Dimas had to serve the customer. The lady got spacious with the, with the weight. So she took the scale from Dimas and do her own weight and she noticed all the weights are wrong. The ladies then got mad but then talked to Dimas about how it's not good to do so. Around 12 minutes we can see Dimas dad doing the same thing again but Dimas fix it by adding more to make it fair which without his father knowing. Then he show the skill to the customer to make sure that the way is correctly. So from the video, we can learn to listen. Which can we take from here? First is corruption is harmful for everyone and everywhere, and it also affects to society as a whole. Therefore, it starts from parents' role on educating their children and give positive behavior so they can learn from it. And the second is, don't do negative behavior toward your children because they reflect their action from their parents or adults in general. Give positive behavior instead. Look in the lens of cybernetics tradition. The first input is the short video. And the second uh, process is spreading the videos through media. The third output is lesson or message. And the fourth feedback is how this reason are taken by the society, whether, whether or not we apply these reasons in daily practice. Especially for parents who should reflect from this video as they are as reflection of their children. Because the thing is, everything started from a small thing. So by simply teach children to behave positively, it will affect the society in, in the long run. Because these kids are the one who will take control of the world we're living. Therefore, it's, in, it's important to educate children to create the, a better society in the future. So not only the role of the parents and children, but public in general that we should demand each other to do positive things and fight for something that isn't going right. Alright, so the short video got significant response by the audience on how they started to realize how important it is to guide children, especially as parents who have responsibility to educate their children in the best way. It has successfully sent awareness to the public through this media with feedback that will be utilized in social context and will be continuously progressing in the lens of cybernetics. The video also easily conveyed its meaning and messages, making it easy to reach broader audience and every layer of people regardless of ages and social status. This film is taken from society or what's happening around us and bringing those lessons to put back into the society itself. In summary, it is evident that the study of cybernetics is extremely significant in assessing and exploring the variety of ways we as humans interact every day and processes it involves because the world exists simultaneously as a physical system and as an information system, ostensibly separate but inseparably intertwined.